Today, we're gonna to be comparing the two most popular tools for YouTube creators. TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Now I've been paying for TubeBuddy for almost a year now and vidIQ for just a few months since discovering it. And they definitely have their strengths and weaknesses. If you've been struggling to decide which tool is right for you, stick around because we're gonna be breaking down user experience, tools, and AI features of both platforms, highlighting the strengths and downfalls of each one. Let's go ahead and get started. vidIQ and TubeBuddy are both services that link to your YouTube channel and give creators tools to increase productivity and SEO, resulting in more views and more revenue for you. While they share similar missions, they cater to different types of creators. Today, we'll compare them in three categories, user experience, tools, and AI features. Starting with user experience, both vidIQ and TubeBuddy offer user-friendly interfaces, but they do have some differences. vidIQ provides a clean and intuitive interface that's easy to navigate, making it great for both beginners and advanced users. The dashboard gives you quick access to key features like video analytics, keyword research, SEO tools. vidIQ's main webpage has a general overview of your channel, and video ideas on the dashboard with quick access to their best tools via a simple menu bar at the top. Everything is sleek, modern, and easy to navigate, and they even gamify the experience for you. TubeBuddy, on the other hand, integrates directly into the YouTube dashboard. This means you can access all of its features without leaving YouTube, which is super convenient. They give you really nice video lytics next to each video you watch on YouTube. However, the interface feels a little cluttered and outdated, there's a lot going on and is presented in a harsh analytical way. Some pages even refer to discontinued tools. This can make navigation overwhelming, especially for new users. When I initially purchased the tool, I found myself often lost and spending a lot of time figuring out where tools were and how to use them. Speaking of tools, let's go ahead and compare the tools offered by vidIQ and TubeBuddy. vidIQ really excels here in several areas. So vidIQ has keyword research that helps you identify high ranking keywords and optimize your content for better discoverability. The platform also offers intelligent tag suggestions to enhance your SEO. vidIQ also allows you to analyze your competitors' channels, gain insights into their strategies, and you can also add channels to follow. And then vidIQ even recommends channels in your niche to follow, which is great for finding potential collaborations. You get comprehensive analytics on video performance, including views, watch time, and engagement metrics. vidIQ simplifies analytics into categories such as content to double down and content needs work, making it easy to understand what's working and what's not, and if you should make a series out of well-performing content. vidIQ also includes a suite of SEO tools to optimize your video titles, descriptions, and tags, and you can do this and publish to YouTube directly in the platform so changes are live immediately. TubeBuddy also offers an array of tools such as detailed insights into search volume, competition, and relevancy. However, its keyword scores can be inconsistent and more sensitive to specific words and punctuation compared to vidIQ, and I found myself not trusting these as time went on. TubeBuddy stands out with its bulk processing tools, allowing you to update cards, end screens, and any other elements across multiple videos simultaneously. They also offer A-B testing feature that allows you to test different thumbnails and titles to see which performs better. However, with YouTube planning to release its own A-B testing feature called Test and Compare, this might be a less unique selling point of TubeBuddy in the near future. TubeBuddy offers tools for managing comments, scheduling uploads, generating automatic thumbnails. However, its health report is quite bare bones compared to vidIQ's channel audit, and some of its tools overlap with those already available in YouTube Studio. Now let's look into the AI features of both of these platforms. vidIQ leverages AI to provide personalized insights and recommendations based on your channel's performance. They offer predictive analytics to help you forecast your video's potential performance, and they also have automated suggestions where AI suggests content ideas, optimal upload times, and strategies to improve engagement. It also offers AI content generator that can create entire video ideas, titles, descriptions, thumbnails, tags, and even scripts and AI voiceovers. Additionally, vidIQ links to your YouTube channel with ChatGPT to create an online coach that helps you brainstorm topics, optimize your videos, 
and learn how to create better content. TubeBuddy's AI features are more focused on enhancing SEO and thumbnails, and they use AI to suggest relevant tags for your videos. The platform provides AI-driven recommendations for improving your video's SEO, and TubeBuddy also includes an AI-powered thumbnail generator to help create eye-catching thumbnails. However, its AI tools are relatively basic compared to vidIQ's more comprehensive and integrated AI features. So, which tool is better? It really depends on your needs. vidIQ offers in-depth analytics and predictive insights, making it great for strategic planning. TubeBuddy excels with its bold processing, A-B testing, and advanced SEO tools, making it ideal for official channel management. However, TubeBuddy does have some downfalls, such as a cluttered interface, limited advanced analytics, overlapping features, and just basic AI capabilities. vidIQ's starting plan runs at about $16 a month, and TubeBuddy's middle tier plan, which includes all the features I just talked about, runs for about $16 a month as well. So price here is pretty even, and if I had to recommend one, it would definitely have to be vidIQ. I've used TubeBuddy for longer, but I find myself reaching for vidIQ even in the few months that I've had it. I think this one's going to be the best value for your money. If you've used either TubeBuddy or vidIQ, let us know your experiences in the comments below. And if you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.